So, Royal Blood have got a new track out, which you know, because you searched up the tutorial, it's really good, which again, you know, because you searched up the tutorial. I'm just gonna teach you how to play it. Um, gear wise, standard guitar, not tuned down in any way, um, just standard tuning. Um, I must say, it is an awesome guitar. It's my Ibanez SZ320. Um, it's just a beautiful guitar. Uh, it's got bare knuckle pickups in there. They're Miracle Men, so they're quite high output. Um, this is going straight into my Focusrite 2i2, which is going into Reaper. With Reaper, I'm using the Lapu, Lapau plugins. Um, they, I've got the hybrid one set to pretty high gain, not maximum, um, just some random IRs in the cab, but I am using um, Reaper's kind of standard octave down pitch shifter, and that's what's giving me the, the necessary fuzzy octave sound. Cool? You can get that, you're sorted. It'll sound, oh, you've probably got an octave pedal. I don't know. So I'm going to teach you the riff. So, right, it's all based around B minor, B natural minor, natural, B natural minor. You know what I mean? Um, and the main riff starts on B, okay? And we're just literally gonna follow that natural minor pattern up. So we're gonna go seven, 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 nine, 10, all on the low E, yeah? So seven, 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 seven nine, 10, seven, seven, seven. Cheeky slide, if you want to. Cool. You play that round, that riff rotates a lot in this song. Then, once we've played that the re required amount of times, we pop up to the A string, and we're gonna go seven, 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 five, five, four, four, and then back. Okay? Now, I would imagine to play this riff, you're gonna be pretty experienced as a guitar player, you know, you, you're gonna have done your fair amount of songs. So I don't need to roll out the whole song for you and the whole structure. These are the riffs kind of in the order you're gonna hear them, okay? And then from there, after you've played that again required amount of times, the pre-chorus and the chorus are pretty much the same thing. So you've got this. That's your first riff. Now, all we're doing, we're playing B minor again, but we've gone up an octave. So we're going on the D string, we're going 12, 11, 9 on the D, down to 12 on the A, back to 9 on the D. A little slide again. Okay, one more time. Got it? So just to reinforce that, 12 on the D, 11 on the D, 9 on the D, 12 on the A, back to 9 on the D. Then we drop down to the low E, fret number 7, up to the A, fret 7, back down to the low E7, fret number 5 on the A, back down to 7 on the low E. So we get this. And then we do the this riff which we recognize from up here, but it's an octave lower, yeah? So all in all, you're gonna have this. No, which I played wrong. I'll try it right this time. Yeah, and that just rotates around. What takes us from it being the pre-chorus into it being the chorus is this little turnaround section, which is just 10 on the A string. Just sliding off to seven, which we slide off twice. And then we've got this cool little. Okay, so that riff, all it is, is nine on the D, eleven on the D, then twelve on the D. I'd play it all as hammer-ons if I was you. And then you're just gonna go eleven to nine, pluck both of those, and then down to twelve on the A to finish. Okay, so that gives you the and then we're literally back into the which is then the chorus. If I remember correctly, that's pretty much it. There are some variations. Um, bear with me one sec, let's have a little listen, shall we? Let's see what happens next. It's great, so good. Oh, forgot about that bit. So that bit, all it is, um, you'll have to listen to it for the rhythm, is. Okay, so all we're doing there is hammering on from five to seven. 
okay? And then you've got a trill. I love a good trill. So this is two to four on the G. Yeah, and we're just trilling it, yeah, so. That, that's all that's involved in that section. Uh, then I believe it goes into some chordy stuff. Love it. Yeah, it keeps going. Yeah. Then this this synthy chord section. We're having a break here. Okay, we're not playing anything. And then you're back in with the main riff again. Got that? You get the idea. You know this bit. And that's it. That's the whole song. It's really cool. You've got the main parts. I would genuinely encourage you to now go and put it all together, do your cover of the song, and make it awesome as you know you're going to. Hopefully this has been of some help. I always forget to say this, and it always feels really bad. It's like at the end of X Factor when they go, vote. Um, but subscribe. Seriously, I, I love subscribes. Subscribes? I love subscribers, and the more subscribers I get, the more I want to do. So subscribe, hit the like, I don't know, notifications, it's all good. See you for the next song.